everybody, this is Angie. We're here to hike and we're going to hike down to the Kachina Bridge, which we're right here. We're gonna walk, hike down to here and see that bridge. And then we're going to hike up, I have to show you on the other map, hike up to the Sipapu Bridge and then ride our bikes back down to this bridge. Wish us luck. A ladder. <laughs> Shoots and ladders. That was the last one wasn't sure it liked me. <laughs> it was a pretty good hike. And if you were going back up, it would be. This is looking southwest. And if I turn the Kachina Bridge right there. I'm assuming we're going to walk right underneath it. We are underneath the bridge. If really right up, right on above us. I don't know how I'm going to video and do this justice, but just amazing to think of the torrents of water that carved this out. Well, it's very riverbedish. So in 1992, they estimated that 4,000 tons of rock broke off the bridge and landed right I'm here. Assuming right there where it's lighter. Yeah, you can kind of see. In, in 1992, I mean that was almost 30 years ago, 28 years ago. Holy crud! You can see the. The difference in the shade of the rock where that that took place. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's, you can it echoes. <laughs> it must have been pretty loud in here when that happened. And we're right underneath this. We're right underneath the bridge. Ah. I'll go look right up. <laughs> nature. So right directly above us is the horseshoe, horse collar ruins. Horse collar ruins, right? Yeah. yeah. And well, and right across from it is that little natural bridge. That you can little see that bridge. right up there. That's pretty awesome. I don't think we can climb from that way, but I think we might from that way. A couple of the remnants of uh, the Anasazi. And sitting down here in this wash right here, uh, it just makes you wonder, I mean, there's got to be a pathway of some kind up there, or at least a, a one point there was. But I'm not going to scale that rock wall right there. We're going to do an about face and show you the lookout for the horse collar ruin is, is right there.
Maggie's leaving me. pretty it's a lot steeper here than where I came up well I don't want to disturb it There's footprints up here Says, there's a sign up here unstable ruins please do not touch or climb into well we won't do that what walked up there there's a sign that says don't enter the ruin because it's fragile I certainly didn't but walking in the footsteps of the ancient Native Americans pretty cool yeah it well it's beautiful it was exciting that we got to see it we didn't know if we'd be actually be able to see it we knew that the hike was at the bottom of the ravine but we didn't know if we'd actually be able to see so it was exciting that we could see the ruin and the overlook on the other side yeah I mean I just happened to look up and went there's the room is right above us. Yeah. All right. And we're almost done with this. I think we've got a little over a mile to the left to go up yeah. to the to the Sipapua. Sipapua? Yeah. I, I'm just so struggling with so that name. So we have name. one more natural bridge. And, and then up, up, up. Then up, 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 up out of this, up out of this canyon. And I'll turn the, turn it around. It's, it's been a fantastic hike. And there it is, the Sipapu Bridge. And there's Gamble Oak. Yeah. Make, make, that's an oak tree right above you. Yeah. So down here into a... A grove of Gamble Oak underneath the, tree, underneath the bridge. The Sipapu Bridge, this one, this way. Second <laughs> largest bridge, it says, in the world. It said the only one, um, only the Rainbow Bridge in Glen Canyon, which isn't very far from here. Well, it, the Rainbow Bridge way. is out. It is by Lake Powell. Yeah, it's bigger than it. There's three wooden ladders in front of us. That we got to climb up. And it's the steepest to the bottom of the canyon. So it's the steepest up to the top of the canyon. Yeah. All right. It said there's a ledge located halfway down the trail that has an excellent viewpoint. All right. Well, let's let's get up there. the ladder you go. This is a pretty little ladder.
right. It's pretty squeaky. Just saying. So hey everybody, the Sipapoo Bridge is right above us and now we have to attempt the 500 foot climb back up to the parking area. Yeah, <laughs> we've, we've done one ladder and I guess there's three more. I don't know. Oh, anyways, but it's better to go up the ladders than down, right? Yes. Right, so. I'm, I hope so. That one was pretty big. Anyways, it's been a pretty enjoyable hike though. I've yeah. enjoyed it. And, been able to uh, just you know walk down the wash of this this marvelous canyon. That's beautiful. And uh, and then of course you know that right there is the prize at the end of the particular hike that we took. Yeah. Most people I think start right here and work their way down, but we did it a little bit different. Yeah. All right. Anyways, up we go. Up she goes. Hey, there's some handrails. Come on. Everybody, we made it. Four miles from the Kachina Bridge to the Sipu, Sip, Sipapu, <laughs> to the Sipapu Bridge, and we're back here where we left our bikes. Hey, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.